Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Let's have a look at problem 2497, maximum star sum of a graph. In this video, we are going to share a solution based on graph concept and uh, partial sums. So first, I'm going to read through the problem statement to digest the task, and then we do the analysis, and finally we share the straightforward code. Uh, first, the statement. There is an undirected graph consisting of n nodes numbered from 0 to n minus 1. We are given a zero indexed integer array called values of length m, where values i denotes the value of the ith node. We are also given a 2D integer array edges, where edges i equals ai bi denotes that there exists an undirected edge connecting nodes ai and bi. So you can also understand this undirected as bidirectional. So a star graph is a subgraph of the given graph having a center node containing zero or more neighbors. So from this one, you know, we can consider a single uh, node. It's also a star graph because it, it, it's allowed to contain zero neighbors. In other words, it's a subset of edges of the given graph such that there exists a common node for all edges. So for example, in the two images here, so the blue one and blue ones are the centers respectively. There are three neighbors um, in the first uh, um, star graph, and there are four neighbors in the second star graph. The star sum is the sum of the values of all the nodes present in the star graph. So given, the, uh, given an integer k, return the maximum star sum of star graph containing at most k edges. So here, uh, this assumption is very essential. Uh, containing at most k edges. It means that it's not a, uh, we do not need to contain exactly uh, k edges. We can use zero edges, one edges, but do not exceed k edges. So here are two examples. So example two is sort of uh, uh, trivial because it has no edges, so we just need to return the single node value, that is negative 5. So in example one, so the output is 16. So here the corresponding uh, star graph is um, center is 3, and the edges are 3, 1, and 3, 4. Because uh, 1, 3, and 4 has uh, values, have values 2, 4, 9, respectively. So the sum is uh, 16. So here, let me mention one about the constraints. So the number of nodes is bounded above by 10 to the power of 5 and the values are in between negative 10 to the power of 4 and po positive 10 to the power of 4. So with that said, uh, we are ready to do the analysis. So here, um, I'm going to use some graph concept, basically the outgoing degree, or you can see the direct neighbors. Then for the treatment of uh, using at most uh, key edges, I'm going to use partial sums. So the idea is the following. In the adjacency list uh, representation of graph, so for each node, the number of direct neighbors is actually the number of the edges starting from the node. So instead of storing the neighbor nodes, so here we could store the neighbor values from large to small. As we could use at, at most k edges, uh, we could use um, uh, at most k values in this neighbor values. So for this, uh, we could compute prefix partial sums and use the maximum of those key prefix partial sums if this maximum value is positive. So otherwise, so we do not use any edges. So we just uh, use the, the center value itself for the star score. So once the above idea is grasped, so writing the code is uh, actually very straightforward. So first, uh, we could use sort to achieve the neighbor values from large to small. And secondly, so finding the key partial, sum, um, partial sums is a straightforward task. So here, let me um, use an example to fix the idea. So let's assume that we can use at most three edges and assume the center has value uh, one. So it has uh, four direct edges with um, other four nodes and the values are the following, negative two, one, 3 and negative 1. 
and then the star score with the center um, is the following. So the center value is one. So here we can choose to use two, uh, right? Two edges corresponding to the node's value one and three. So we have five. So here we use two edges as we mentioned. So in fact, if we rack the neighbor values from large to small, uh, there are three, one, negative one, and negative two. We use only these two because they are positive, and uh, we do not use this negative one for the third edge. So to treat this, actually we can compute partial sum. So we can compute the three first three partial sums, right? So for for this example, the three partial sums are three, four because one plus three is four, and the four minus negative minus one is the three. So we have three, four, three. So this value is maximum. It corresponds to use uh, two um, edges. So notice that if the max is less than zero, so we only use the center value itself, right? So with that said, I guess we know the general idea or principle. So next, let's look at the code. And in between, we want to explain some subtle details. Um, first, uh, so we want to build the graph. So I'm going to track the number of nodes to be length of values by assumption. So also we know the names, the nodes names are from uh, from zero one up to n minus one, right? So the graph will be a dictionary, right? So default dict. So I'm going to use list as the default value or container. So next we iterate over the edges for a b in edges. So notice that the graph here is bidirectional or undirected. So I'm going to use append. So here we can append b, but for our purpose here, we can directly append the value, right? So that is the value of node b. So similarly, graph b. So I'm going to append values of the corresponding nodes. So with that said, we finished building the graph. So next, we're going to um, rack the neighbor's uh, score for each node from high to low. So this is actually easily achieved. So for k and the value, so the value is actually the neighbor uh, list, neighbor score list in graph items. Uh, what we are going to do is that the graph um, k. So first I'm going to use uh, implicit thought. So here we can use uh, lambda. So we can we start from large to small. So here we use lambda x and map to negative. So you can actually use reverse equals true to achieve the same effect. So with that said, so we want to compute um, uh, the partial sums. Notice that we need to compute at most the key partial sums. So here we are going to iterate for i in range. So I'm going to start from index 1. Because for each of the graph k list, so the first element it's already a partial sum of itself, and then so the, we want to take consideration the case that the list has a length less than k. So here I'm going to use the minimum of these two graph k. So this uh, prefix uh, commutation is very straightforward. So going to graph k i minus 1, right? So this way, we achieved this task. So next, so we find uh, the global uh, maximal uh, star sum. So this is just the uh, iteration, right? So let's uh, first initialize the result. So notice that the values is bounded below by 10 to the power for negative, right? So let's do this. <coughs> uh, this is a, the smallest possible scale, right? Because we want to find the maximum star scale. Let's initialize it as smallest as possible. And then we're going to iterate. So for node um, in range n, right? First, we consider the case. We just used zero edges, that is the the star corresponding to uh, the node value itself, star score. So here is values to node. So this is the one for loop. Actually, we can use another for loop, or just uh, to iterate 
if we use some edges. So for node as a corresponding value um, list, so now the value list contains partial sum actually in graph items. So what we are going to do is first we find the max of the v, the first key element, if they have, right? So then what we are going to do is to check if temp is greater than zero. So we are going to update the result, so the previous state, and then the star score corresponds to this node, this values node, and plus the temp, right? And then we are ready to do the return for the result. So actually we can easily um, incorporate these two for loops into a one, but here for presentation and purpose, we separate just to make the logic clear. So with that said, we are ready to do a check. Yeah, it passes the first example. Now let's look at the generic case. Yeah, it passes all the generic cases. So here, let me make some comments. So as we mentioned here, in order to select the number of edges to use, so or get the maximum score for each of the uh, nodes at the center. So we used partial sum. So actually, we can do another treatment. So for example, in this example, so once we get the neighbor value list, so we can use pop a while loop and pop or pop out all the negative ones and then sum the remaining ones. Uh, or we can see we retain the key largest one and then we um, pop out the negative ones and compute the sum. So that's also a, a method. So actually essentially the same effect. So uh, with that said, I guess uh, that's about it for this specific uh, problem. And also it's the end of this video. Thank you.